How's it going guys? I'm back at it again. Uh, it's good to be back on YouTube, but I'm gonna make this video quick and short since I don't have much time. Um, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to record in FL Studio 20. Now depending on what you wanna record and how you're gonna record it. Well, it depends on how you're gonna record it. So, if, so if you wanna record a MIDI or you want to record vocals, there's a few things you're gonna need. For MIDI, you just need a normal typing keyboard. If not, you're gonna need a MIDI keyboard. If, or if you're gonna record vocals, you're gonna need a mic, either a mic um, or a phone or anything, anything that can record audio that you have access to. So we're gonna start off with MIDI. So MIDI, it can be recorded in many, many ways. So what I'm gonna do right now, since I don't have an actual MIDI keyboard, I am gonna use FL Studio Image Line FL Studio on my phone, and I'm gonna connect it to my computer via Wi-Fi because it works via Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna turn on my Wi-Fi. Your internet connection does not need internet, by the way. Your Wi-Fi does not need internet, but you need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi for this to work if you would like to download image line uh, stuff. But depending if you're using a actual physical MIDI or you're using a app on your phone that has a MIDI that has MIDI functions that can connect to your uh, device, then yeah, depending, like I said, depends. So I'm gonna act like, so let's act like my phone is a MIDI keyboard. You're gonna go into options and MIDI settings. So now depending where your MIDI, what your MIDI is, how it's gonna pop up, usually here it's gonna pop up. So you have a whole list of your MIDI keyboards that are built in. Most of the time I see people using, I don't know, these type of uh, MIDIs. I don't know how to say that, but yeah. Then you have some native, if I'm right, okay, there's no native uh, instrument keyboards. Oh yeah, here it is, the native machines and stuff like that, and you got M Audio Oxygen. You can select the MIDI that you currently have, but since I'm using a, um, I'm using a generic, generic uh, MIDI controller which connects via Wi-Fi, and that is on my phone, I'm gonna have to enable this so I'm gonna have to disable this and then re-enable it and it should be pop it should pop up here here it is image line FL Studio remote F image line FL Studio remote and here's the ping so basically this is like a MIDI controller and now you're set to record now all you can do you can press record here and you can go ahead and hear the patterns or go ahead and create another one like for instance 11 let's say I want to record um the FL keys i can go ahead and do that via on keyboard typing keyboard on my computer or the keyboard on my phone i'm playing right now off of my phone but we can go ahead and play now here's the problem i did not set it to start recording exactly where i want it to be so i can start doing this and just to give you guys a clear version of that i am actually recording from my phone i'm just gonna play random keys um and i'm gonna do some things here because yeah there's some settings i tweaked up there but you can go ahead and press play and now the keys are right here there you go so I just recorded that using my phone and you can go ahead and tweak them fix it or re-record use Control Z to erase it and re-record again but now that we covered up the midis let's cover up the vocals now this one is a bit tricky let me go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi um, from my computer now depending on how your computer is built and how your mic is built this can really differ big so what i can do i can simply just go into mix go into options go into all your settings use device fl studio AIS asio and go to buffer length and you know select my microphone and speakers so then i can go back to mixer 
choose an empty mixer go here and choose in one and now you should be hearing my vocal with a bit of delay so that means the track is armed now i can choose not to listen back to this by just taking down this volume and then record i am just gonna keep this quiet and now recording now everything that i'm saying will be recorded here now how did i connect my mic to my laptop well my mic is an xlr to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so my computer has a built-in sound card that can connect to headphones and microphones so since my microphone is an xlr an xlr the microphone wire is an xlr to 3.5 millimeter aux this gives me the ability to just directly connect my mic to my computer now obviously some mics don't have that feature don't have the xlr to 3.5 millimeter jack whereby you will need a audio interface this is where the trick begins you will need to connect your audio interface via blue via usb to your computer then go into options go into audio settings go into device and it should appear somewhere here or above here now since i don't have an audio interface i don't plan on buying it anytime soon because i have been making songs for a long time without it now since let's say you don't have a mic that has an xlr to aux or a audio interface so how are you going to record your vocals well you're going to need to have a phone at least or a recording device with a good mic quality or you're gonna need to be a extra 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 per, like an extra like great sound engineer so yeah you guessed it you're gonna record using the voice recorder from your phone using your phone's mic and you're gonna copy that recording to your FL studio to your computer FL studio and then drag drop drag and drop it like so into your FL studio and then from here on out let's just wait for it to load from here on out you can just select it and then go up here and then channel routing and then you can mix it from here but like i said most phones my quality are not that great and i can agree on my phone's qual my quality is not that great for vocal recording so there's two options really you can buy a mic and check if your computer has a sound card built into it or you can buy a usb sound card from i don't know amazon i bought i can see there are some, i saw some on take a lot um i haven't seen some on amazon i will i will leave pictures to what i'm talking about but um you can buy that connected five uh, usb to your computer and have a 3.52 xlr um wire to connect to your mic and yeah the current mic i'm using is the bm 800 microphone which came with an xlr to 3.5 millimeter jack so it makes it really really easier i i actually feared that i would have to waste more money to buy an interface but turns out this mic is perfect and it didn't even need an audio interface but thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace